down to digital input functions, hit enter, we're going to be seeing that we have digital 1, 2, 3, and 4 available. Now if we have a uh, car that has four wheel speed sensors, we could wire them into digital 1, 2, 3, or 4. And if we have a car that, let's just say, has a vehicle speed sensor on the transmission, and then we want to measure um, a ground speed sensor on a non-driven wheel, we could set that up based on maybe digital 1 or 2. So we have a lot of options for setting our individual wheel speed sensors in for different kind of traction control, or if we just want to have a speed reading so we can calculate gear, in the MoTeC, we're going to be able to do that as well. So we're going to all be using or starting with this digital inputs. I'm going to assume in this case, I'm going to be wiring in a wheel speed sensor from a driven wheel to digital one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, hit enter, and we're going to be seeing that we have either function or parameters that we can click on. So in this case, I'm going to click enter or hit enter on function. I'm going to bring me into this parameter window. If I click F1, it's going to give you the number that's going to be defining the function. So in this case, because we have a wheel speed sensor or a transmission vehicle speed sensor, we're going to want to select here number one. This is a speed measurement. So we're going to go and close this and hit a value of one, hit enter. And then we're going to be using escape and jumping into parameters. Now it's going to want to go ahead and restart the ECU quick and allow it to do that. Next, we're going to be looking here. This is going to be the programming for digital one speed sensor. So the first thing we're going to see here is measurement type. It's going to establish whether there's speed, RPM, or frequency. In this case, we want vehicle speed, or speed in general here, so we want a value of 1. Next, we're going to be finding our calibration, and this is going to be defining how many pulses per revolution, or pulses per mile, it's going to take to calibrate the MOTAC to read that, that sensor pulse pattern coming in from the wheel speed sensor, from the transmission speed, so we can properly calculate miles per hour or kilometers uh, per hour, so we're going to be able to do that right here. Now we're going to leave this at a value of 1 right now and we're going to come back to it and uh, check this out in a minute here. Next we're going to be seeing our activation edge or 